Hello everyone, my name is Eric, and this here is Daisy Blossom Farm. Today, I wanna to show you my new Clean Cedar TP that is a one row. Uh, I have this new garden patch here that I got turned. It's a little late in the year to be planting corn, uh, but we're just gonna get in right underneath the window to where it has plenty of time to grow before the real heat sets in. But I wanna go over this thing with you. I've been in the market for a new corn planter because I've used some of the other ones and they're just not up to to really good standards of being precision seeders like this one here is. This one is uh, totally different than most of them to where you can have different size plates that uh, will fit most any seeds. It is for a larger seed, so some of your smaller stuff, maybe your pelleted carrots and stuff, it may still do if you get you blank plates and actually drill those for that size. I don't quite know, I can't really speak of that, but for corn and peas, this thing is gonna be the ticket in beans. You're supposed to be able to plant, say, pumpkins and uh, sunflowers and stuff like that too. Can't really speak for that just yet, but hopefully I will one day. But for right now, let's go over how you use this thing. You have your hopper here. You have your, uh, the lid that opens up on it right here. But when you pull your hopper off, after you pull your two little back, black back tabs back here, you have your little brush here. I've already planted some sweet corn with this thing and it worked amazingly. I, I was very impressed at how precise it was dropping the seeds. Now, mine came with just the one plate. I had ordered a second plate uh, for a little bit larger seeds for some, uh, I believe that plate will fit beans and, uh, and large seeds like for corn as far as hickory seed. But for right now, mostly what I'm planting uh, is sweet corn and then today we're going to do some yellow dent corn that I can use for silage and fodder later on this winter. But you have these really nice plates. Uh, some of them are coming different thicknesses. Uh, this one is I believe about quarter inch uh, and it has, has eight holes. Um, I believe this is supposed to drop it about every seven and a half inches the way that I have the gear it's configured on the side here. But, so you put your plate in it right here, and then you have a little uh, a little washer that goes on top, and then a little screw nut that goes on top. You don't want to over tighten this thing too much because you want it you want it to still be able to spin. But I just come back off maybe an eighth of a turn, and then you have your brushes, and this allows it for when your seeds are coming in that it doesn't uh, doesn't allow more than what's in that little hole to come in. So once you put that on, and you put your hopper back here. Oh, I already wanna show you this part. This part's kinda neat. Uh, you can hold your bag back underneath right here, pull this little clip right here on the side, and then all your seeds will fall back into your, into your seed bag, which makes it really easy for cleaning out. But this little seed hopper only goes on one way. So we're gonna open the lid here. And we're gonna fill this thing full of corn. Another thing I like about this is it has a little teeth in this uh, and this wheel and this is metal this isn't plastic it looks like plastic online but it is metal uh, and it's not flimsy this thing is not something that's going to break on you as long as you take care of it it will last you for a long time just by judging how it looks uh, it does have a nice little little double furrow opener right here for your double disc uh, and then a little shoe back here that uh, will cover back up your your little rows once it digs it you do have a little nut on the side that will drop this shoe plate. I have it set for about an inch right now, so it's gonna be plenty. This field was, was sprayed and turned not long ago. It does have some clumps, but this thing's gonna cut right through it. So let's get to it.
So just real quick showing y'all how easy it is to empty the seeds out of here. I know a lot of them, it's not so easy, but just make sure you push whatever you can back down inside there through that little, uh, little plastic flap. Close this back off. There's two tabs back here on the back. And just slowly take this off so that way you don't lose any of your seeds. And then just kind of push them back in there. And then I take my bag, I open it back up, hold it underneath there. I pull this little tab right here. Just a little tab. And we're just gonna let them go right back in there. There's some more, some more seeds. And that's it. Just as easy as that. Make sure you put your little tab back in place. And then put your hopper back on. And that's it. Well there folks, there you have it. The clean cedar. I mean, you seen me going down through there. I went down through there pretty quick. I think this whole field maybe took me about five minutes to plant with it. I did get hung up a couple places. I had picked up a, uh, a rock up here once in the wheel, not the cedar's fault. Uh, another time I did have one really large kernel that had uh, uh, got stopped up in one of them seed plates. So I had to take the hopper off and get that one kernel unstuck. After that, I didn't have any more problems after it. So one seed kernel out of I don't know, that might have been a pound, two, two pounds worth of, uh, maybe not two pounds, pound, pound and a half of seeds. One kernel that this thing got hung up on. And I planted this whole little patch right here. This little spot's probably uh, roughly 100 foot long and probably about 30 foot wide, give or take. And I mean, this to be able to plant this whole thing in such a short amount of time is unbelievable. It is a time saver. If you do plant a lot, this planter's for you. Even if you don't plant a ton of seeds, say like you're only growing about a half acre or even say a quarter of an acre, this thing will save you so much time. Uh, me, I plant uh, this spot right here, uh, plant this spot, and I got two more spots up front of the farm that I plant in corn. And it takes me a long time if I try to plant it by hand. But with this thing, not anymore. I'll have a lot more time to spend with my family Oh, there she goes. Would be nice though if this thing did have a uh, a row marker with it. I'm sure you could tell as I was going down through there where I was getting off the uh, off the path a little bit. But hey, maybe they'll come out with one, or I'm just not finding it. I didn't see one at the place where I bought it from. I bought it from SuttonAg.com, and I did not see one on their website. If there is, please, somebody point the thing out to me. I would love a row marker for this. But for now, it, it's going to be great even without that row marker. I'll get a little more used to using this one without the row marker. Maybe I'll get better at my rows. Uh, be a little bit better if I did have this, this little spot turned to where you didn't have big clods like this in it. But it's still, this little shoe still cut through it and planted that corn and then covered it back up. Uh, maybe a few times it did like really big clods. It just kind of pushed me off to the side. It really didn't exactly um, not cut through it. It just kind of kind of tilted me a little bit to the side, but this thing just cut right through it like it was butter for the most part. So if you're in the market for them, hit them up and look at their website. Uh, they have lots of other good uh, products. They have these. They also have the, uh, the one for your smaller seeds. Um, I'm not sure on the number on it. But this one, if you're planting corn, beans, uh, peas, this one is gonna be your, your ticket. We're gonna come back uh, sometime later this year once this corn comes up, and we're gonna plant some winter peas as a cover crop. That way we don't have to worry about weeds for next year as much. And then I'll also be able to use that as uh, uh, silage and stuff, and also to feed my goats during the winter time. So this thing's gonna get a lot of use. Thank y'all for watching.